put me in your block and ship your city to take it. Hey, this is Eddie. Some people call me Machete for Ghetto Blaster Magazine. I'm here bringing you that boombox culture where we're discussing things, well, that I'm sure a lot of others won't be mentioning. Okay, so with me, I have Chris Person. Is that how you pronounce your name, man? <laughs> yeah, Chris Pearson, a.k.a. Quest the Unborn Child of Abstract Distortion. There you go. All right, so so now I, I know we've been talking a lot about, uh, um, what, what is it, the, 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 the get down. The get down. So yeah. I, I've just reached yes, up to, I've just reached up to like five, five episodes. How far have you gotten? Uh, I actually just um, almost finished, I think, episode five of season two. Where at the very end, uh, what's this, uh, was Annie's son comes in to go get Shao. And, um, you know, he, he walks pretty much into a Zulu nation party, you know, surrounded by like all three kingdoms as, as they're calling it, you know, flashes, Grandmaster Flash and Hurt and Bam and everybody. Um, okay. Sorry, my daughter came in. That's all right. That's why I, that, 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 that's why I got my door locked, man. <laughs> no, not a problem. So, yeah, so where, um, you know, where he, where he comes in and, you know, he's watching them just, you know, set it off, you know, for everybody, and they got the crowd hyped, and, you know, they're doing their thing. And, um, you know, and then he starts popping off his guns, and, you know, he steps to the stage telling him he has to come home and all this. So, you know, I'm pretty much, you know, surrounded, you know, by everybody. You know, of course, they don't do no do no harm to them, you know, but they still, you know, pretty much keep them there to, you know, so he can watch, you know, how everybody's rocking and, and doing the thing and, and everything, so. Yeah, all right. So, so is you know, where, Is that where you gotten up to? Yeah, I, I pretty much gotten up to, 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 see, to episode five, but... What do you think about it so far, man? Because yeah, I know you had some issues, you know, with, with the whole Bambada thing and the Zulu yeah. Nation. Yeah, you know, um, when when I when I started watching, you know, season one, obviously everything, you know, started pouring out from everywhere, you know, like we we spoke about before, um, and and this, I guess, you know, knowing that the culture for him was used as like a Pied Piper type thing. You know, yeah. you take all those, you know, who, who came up from the grip being poor and, and having nothing and, you know, using the music to lure people in kind of hurts, you know, because I was pretty much one of those kids, you know. Yeah, Not that, yeah. you know, I ne it never got that far, but you know, it was the nation that brought me in, you know, in 84, you know, that's what, that's what brought me into this, you know, from the street. Right. And, um, and none of, I, you know, like I said, I never seen or, or I, I didn't even heard anything like that ever. Like I was always around, you know, B-boys. I was always around grass fighters, MCs, you know, I, I went to a lot of the parties growing up, um, you know, house parties. I mean, that's, that was, you know, growing up in, in the 80s and the 90s, that's, that's all we saw, you know. And when you went to functions like that with Zulus, um, it, was all, it was always peace, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, you always have your fights, but, you know, what party you haven't gone to and there was a fight, you know. Right, true that. And, uh, but, you know, and I, and I want to say, um, I want to say, like, in, in 99, um, I had met Bam. You know, I was blessed, you know, directly by Bam with some, um, you know, with a medallion that was given to me um, while standing right there. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, Lucky Strike, you know, rest in peace, Zulu King, L Lucky Strike. And so, you know, to find out later in years, you know, everything that has happened um, and what and what the culture was actually used 
four, you know, which, and and I'm, unfortunately, I've been in, I've been in 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 meetings where I've heard certain things, um, that I just never saw that the culture would go this way, and I, I kind of understand why down as they've done other musical, um, you know, movies and, and documentaries is so that this generation can can kind of understand where it came from and why they should respect the culture um, because there are a lot of them now who are, you know, they're doing very well for themselves and they're like, man, we don't need to pay homage, you know, to any of you because, okay, yeah, you did pave the way, thank you, have a great day and be gone. Right. And it's not like that. It shouldn't be like that because as even if time progresses, our culture will always be here. You know, yeah. a lot of the cultures will always be here, not just hip hop. You know, the one thing that people don't understand, while, um, while you know, rock was was coming up and 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 everything else was, you know, it was disco and, and hip hop. That was, but now I also see and read people complaining about you know the gay agenda and and everything like that, and it's it's never been in. Agenda. That's always been there. That life, that lifestyle has always been there. I was about to say that you know what, even even back then, because it's like it's always been there. People seem to like you know make it more than it actually should be, you know. But mm -hmm. it was what it was. But but you know what? Let, let, let's just get away from uh, from from the whole from the whole uh, uh, Zulu Nation for a little bit. And ju just focus right now on the get down. What do you what, what do you think about the get down right now? I mean, the the difference between this season and last season. Do because I'm I'm feeling it like this season is a lot better than last season. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I really think um, I, I like this season too. Um, you know, my my opinion, I really like it. It's kind of sped up, but I think that's with anything. You know, when you read a book, it kind of starts off you know, real slow, where, you know, this season, second season, it's like, okay, now we're going to give you everything. Yeah. You know, Mylene's dad, you know, committed suicide, um, and, and uh, you know, finding out that, you know, Mylene is actually the daughter of Papo Fuerte, it's like, dude, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot to take in, so yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, you know, a speed up, like everything... It just kind of sped up with everything. It's a lot quicker, dude. The, he, here I was, just like you know, I, I, as soon as you know, like her mom said, you know, like he's he, she's his daughter. You know, it's just like I, I just felt like it was it was a, a TV novella, man. Like like a <gasps> scandal, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like like even even I, you know, like I, I told my wife, you know, like she she came down, and she was like <gasps> with her hand over her mouth, you know. So so she, yeah so she she was like bugging out a little bit on that too but I mean I'm I'm definitely digging it there there are some things that you know it's just like a lot of things say when you think about the Bronx you know it's like I, I'm thinking it captures the essence of the Bronx cuz it's just like back then yeah you did have all the burnt down buildings and it was gritty mm -hmm. but but it's funny because people think that the Bronx now as being, you know, shitty, poor, you know, et cetera. But back then, you know, like, I mean, the, the, get, the get down gives a different view. It shows a dream, you know. Exactly. No, it, it, you know, like every other documentary, I think, that's been put together, the get down was trying to sum it all up for everybody that, you know, doesn't want to watch these documentaries or really don't want to know about the culture itself and, you know, how the Mecca was and, you know, really people, I think people like nowadays just don't want to know about anything anymore. They just, they just want the, the glitz, the glam, the action, you know, the gunfire and, and everything else, you know, that comes along with it. But um, they, they have to understand, like with the get down, um, it's been great, you know, because it showed a lot, like what everybody went through. And during all these periods of time, that the Bronx was, you know, all this was happening, you know, even with the buildings being burnt down and, and everything, 
that there was still something in in the Bronx. There was this jewel that was just growing, and eventually, come to the second season, it did grow. Yeah. And it brought all three kingdoms together, you know. And I know it's probably upsetting for a lot of people to see, and it's probably not giving the true element of whatever part of story that someone might know that the you know that they're not given. But I think in hindsight, man, like. <clears throat> It, it, it's it's doing the sum up. It, it's a summary. You know what I'm saying? It's just giving you everything there. Um, I mean, I I, lo- I love it so far. You know, I, I love it so far, and and the reason why I love it is because, you know, it it was the legends that got together and and put this together. It wasn't just somebody, you know, who 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 doesn't know about the history or the culture itself. You know, so the fact that they 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 placed certain elements like they you know when they were you know when they were going to go talk to everybody they went to go talk to you know frosty freeze they went to go talk to hurt you know they it, it was crazy yeah that you was know? and and and, it, and, it, and it, it brought memories for me when they when they showed frosty i was like dude that was that was, nice. that was a homie yeah, you know that was, they went there yeah, I, I really did not expect that but yeah, I'm I'm yeah, I'm, de- I'm definitely ab- appreciating that. But but you know what? I want to talk to you about about that other joint I just saw yesterday, dude. Which tra- one? Train to Busan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> for 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 some of y'all that don't know, Train to Busan is a is a Korean flick about zombies. Okay, and it's dude, you know on it, speed. It was on <laughs> speed, man. On speed. It it was. You know, I mean, you 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 mentioned what twenty eight days, you know, it was it was kind of like yeah. that with how fast it was moving, but but it it's also, um, what was that movie with Brad Pitt, like the the Z Nation? Uh, Z. Uh, World War Z. World War Z. You know, it was like that, like fast paced with, yeah. with with the zombies becoming crazy at you like that. Yo, I could just appreciate it so much. I mean, you know, I I, I may have had a little tear in my eye at the end with that little girl. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause she. Was, oh yeah. She, she was, she yeah, was, but, yeah, she but, was I good. Mean, yeah, cause she just wanted to get to her mom. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You know, but but it's just like a, a lot of people don't. You know, I I think are sleeping on on that because you know it, it came up on my Netflix. You know, like what you may like, and you know, like I was just like, oh, okay, I'll save that for later. And when I watched it, yeah. I, w- I was just blown away, man. I was just blown away. But I, I mean, oh, no, I, was, I was definitely dead. It was, it was definitely, um, you know, worth watching. Um, when I, I started watching it because I kept seeing posters for it. And when I kept seeing posters for it, you know, I was like, man, what is this? I you never know, saw I, anything. I, really... I never saw anything. Really? Yeah, no, nah, I mean, it was just like, no, it, I, it just hit me one day. Yeah, I know. I saw um, I saw some posters from it. Like I think last month, but I didn't pay no mind to it. Uh, I was like, you know, what is this? Didn't really know what it was. And then I finally saw it. You know, finally saw it on Netflix, and I was like, man, let me let me take the opportunity to to watch it. And I started watching it, and I was just like, yo, this is crazy. Like I could really appreciate this because when have they done zombie a zombie movie like this in a long time? Yeah, no. You know, and that's the one thing I like about, you know, the Japanese and the Koreans and the Chinese and and you know the way they do things. Like their movies are, <laughs> their movies are crazy. Seriously, you know? like at this one point where I think it was like in the almost in the very beginning when when the train started getting infested with zombies, when um there was one guy. It looked like he was kind of like a of a b boy, too. Because he was kind of on the floor, and it was the way that he got up. You know, it was kind of a, a hint of a, 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 a popping lock. And he <laughs> yeah. got up, and he just looked at the door, and he just started, like, running at him. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you it was, know? Like, yeah. I think that would scare any grown man. Yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy, though, because it's like, like that one scene where you had a skateboarder, and, you know, the helicopter's flying, and then the zombies start just, like, falling from the sky. Falling, yes. And then he just starts running. Yes. But you couldn't get away. <laughs> they couldn't get away. <laughs> no. But yeah, it's it's like I, I, I could appreciate that. But, but 
but all right. You know what? I appreciate your time on this. We'll we'll be we'll be doing yeah, this we'll be doing this again at some point. You know, you know, but but the, this this is the start of something. You know, um, you know, the, it's me, Eddie. Also call me the Machete. You know, that's that's Chris Person, also known as Quest, the Unborn Child. For Ghetto Blaster Magazine, you know, hitting you with that boombox culture. Never put me in your box if your city takes it.